Hi everybody, Bob with Knives Town here. Today we're looking at a CRKT knife. This is the CRKT Crawford Neck Knife. And this is a, <clears throat> a, a, a sort of, I guess, a last ditch or, or a, a small job knife or last ditch knife. Uh, comes with a sheath and the CRKT pamphlet of all of their knives and products that they make which, as I've said in the past, uh, is, is a very, is a complete line. Uh, they've got uh, a lot of good knives, a lot of good ideas. They work with a lot of creative designers, and they make good, uh, good quality product. Ships in a plastic sleeve. Comes with this, with this hard, uh, hard sheath, you know, a Zytel type sheath. Uh, and it does come with a removable uh, belt clip on it. Let's take a get a zoom in on that so I can show you. This, you can see the sheath is molded to the outline of the knife, so it just goes in one way. And this this uh, clip mechanism here, uh, it's a little bit unique. Uh, I don't know of another one like it. Uh, what it does is it, it pinches here to remove. You would you would pinch the bottom and then pull on this on this uh, rubber tang or tab here. So you pinch those in and then pull. There you go. And then and then you just you, then you put the belt in here and then just slide it back and it locks it, it locks tight. So that's that's a, a quick removal. You don't need to you know take the belt off or webbing or whatever you're putting it on uh, it can you, you can put it on and off without removing that particular uh, piece of gear just slides open like that uh, put it on and lock it shut and it locks it locks with uh, compression clips down here if you don't want to use that feature of the I mean if you just want to use it as a neck knife which is what it's called then these are Chicago screws. You get there's four Chicago screws here. You can take uh, remove them, and this this lock or this slide apparatus comes off, and then you just have just this, just this this neck knife. And then of course you would take a chain, uh, which is not supplied. You would get your own chain and put it through, and and then wear it around your neck, and then you'd have a, a neck knife to to just draw when you need it. The knife draws uh, just like like others. If there is a, a it, it's a tight draw, but it comes out easily enough, though. And it, do, it does have a, uh, there is a pinch right here, so that's the way it locks in. Right there. Let's see if I can make that so you can hear it. There. You heard that? So it does have a, a it is a, a tight, a little bit tight there, so that'll wear, wear uh, flexi as you, as you use it. It's uh, just a one piece of steel, just a single piece of sharpened steel. That's all it is. But that's all you need. Technical specs on that. Uh, that blade is 2.75 inches. And that is, uh, the steel is 2CR13. It's, it's got a hollow grind to it here. To a really fine edge, really super sharp edge. It's got a, a double grind. I mean, it's got the a recurve here and then a tanto edge here, and then a, and then so that's that'll get, and then at the top there's a swedge so that aids in piercing. So it's a cutter, all right. It's got these holes drilled in it for. Uh, you know, to reduce weight and just give visual appearance. It would probably be a pretty bland looking knife if, if it was just a flat piece of steel. But that also adds, uh, vi you know, and, and I suppose it would add, uh, you know, it takes away weight, unnecessary weight. That's a good neck knife. That's certainly a good knife to uh, use, you know, to, to carry around the the weight on that is 2.5 ounces, so that that's that's a knife that's within the neck knife range of weight. The overall length is 6.5 inches. Okay, you'll again you see that recurve, so you can really really get some 
it, you, you put that down on something, and then this forward part of the steel will really pull through the, the material as, uh, because of that recurve. The tanto point, you can get do various different jobs like that. I suppose it could be used as an emergency knife, um, or I suppose if you were uh, enterprising enough, you could you could make your own scales for this knife if you wanted to. If you were, uh, you know, it, it certainly could be modded out. Uh, it, you know, make make some scales for it yourself. I mean, you've already, you've got pre-drilled holes here for pins, so you could do that if you wanted. That'd be a nice little project. It'd leave a, a lanyard hole right back here. This is the same blade that's used on the CRKT Triumph folder. So if, if you're a fan of that, uh, then, then you know you might like this knife as well. There you go. It holds well. Holds in any position you want. It's got some jimping here at the top for the thumb ramp. That's, that's good. It'll hold. That's your forward hold right there. There's no choke up on it, but there is, uh, you know, plenty of it to hold in this in this manner. You've got these finger grooves that really, really give you a good grip because this is probably a, a hard use knife, you know, for for whatever jobs you this size would be appropriate to. be held in any way you want, like that. Back hold, the reverse hold. There's the thickness on it. That would be uh, about two and a half millimeters. That comes with a good uh, multi-carry multi sheath, you know. I mean, this could be uh, if you were creative, you could think of a lot of different ways of holding this or uh, carrying it. I mean, it could be uh, upside down, latched in a vest. Um, it does also have these webbing slots here on the sides, so it could be attached that way. You've got the chain holes at the top. You know, if you want, if you take the uh, this apparatus off, so it could be held that way. That's a good little knife. Something good to have. Little insurance policy. That's the CRKT Crawford Neck. All right. Well, thanks for watching. I'll see you again.